All right, welcome into the channel, everyone. It's Michael Tharp, EDU. It starts with you. By popular demand, I'm doing a step-by-step -step on how to get started in the Cosmos ecosystem. Because in my opinion, this is gonna be one of the biggest plays in 2024, especially when it comes to airdrops. Now, all airdrops are is when a new blockchain gives away tokens to early users or people who did certain things on their blockchain. Or maybe you just staked some tokens and they'll give you free airdrops. Okay, so it's free money to people who actually get onto the blockchain. All right, and to, when I say stake, all that means is you're gonna kind of like put your tokens into a decentralized bank account and by doing that, you help secure the network and you get rewarded for it. And we'll go over that, okay? Now, don't get overwhelmed. Just sit down, focus, and go step by step. I'm gonna go very slow. I was a teacher for 17 years. So the first thing I had to teach my students is how to watch a video, okay? So when you get ready to do this, you want to be at a computer or a laptop or something like that. And you wanna have this video open and then what you're doing there, okay? And you're gonna watch me do one thing, pause it, then you go and do that one thing. Come back, unpause it. Watch me do that, go over here, here, go back to what you're doing, do that one step, and just keep going back and forth, okay? Once you do this a few times, it's like riding a bike, okay? Then you can start to go to different blockchains and different wallets, but you gotta start somewhere, okay? And I've had a lot of people reach out to me I love you guys, but I do not have time to handhold people one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, for an hour. If you guys want to do that, I do have a paid service. Um, just reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter, and we can set something up to where I can uh, walk you through one by one, one step by step. But right now, if you just watch this video, you're going to be all set. So this is the Cosmos ecosystem that you're looking at right now. This is a really cool... Um, 3D, just to kind of show you how big it is, and they're just getting started, okay? Don't let this scare you, though. We're really only going to work with a few of these, okay? And I have down, pinned in the comments underneath this video, click on See More underneath this video on YouTube, and there will be a link to this Google Doc that has all the links that you need to use, okay? Most YouTubers will be like, oh, yeah, do this, do that, do that and they don't really tell you how to do everything. So we're gonna walk through step-by-step step today. Um, you can go to CoinMarketCap and look up Cosmos. The name of the token is called Atom, okay? Sometimes those are kind of used interchangeably. Um, we can go to their website, and what they have is called the IBC. That stands for the Inter-Blockchain Communication Protocol. This is what's called a Layer Zero. Okay, which means it's at the very bottom and then all these other blockchains are built on top of it okay if that's confusing to you don't worry about it that's just nerdy techie stuff you don't really need to know okay now you can come here and i went to resources wallets and the two best wallets we're going to download both of them today are called kepler and leap those links are in the description okay i prefer to use kepler most of the time but leap is really good for staking some more rare or smaller coins and finding airdrops and we'll go over that so the first one is going to be the kepler wallet so in the top right here where this green button is we're going to hit install kepler normally i use chrome but since i'm starting from scratch here we're going to do it on firefox so i'll click on that i do recommend you use chrome um, it just works better with a lot of stuff in crypto Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want Firefox. I'm using Brave. I'm sorry. So Brave is essentially like Chrome, but um, whatever. So use Chrome. You're going to be in the Chrome Web Store, and you're going to click Add to Brave. Yours will say Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. So you can see it's downloaded there. Kepler has been added to Brave. Okay, so we have downloaded Kepler. 
we're going to go up to the puzzle and you can see that Kepler is not pinned. So we're going to click this pin and turn it blue so that we can now see Kepler up here. If we want to move it to put it on for further left, we can. Okay, once we are here, we're going to create a new wallet. If you already had another wallet um, on the Cosmos ecosystem, you could click import existing wallet and put in your 12 seed words. Okay, it's important for you guys to understand that your cryptocurrency tokens are not on a machine. They're not on this computer. They're not on my phone. They're on the blockchain. We just use different wallets to access those tokens on the blockchain. So if my phone or computer blows up, as long as I have my seed words, I can get my cryptocurrency. So we're going to create a new wallet and we're going to create a new recovery phrase. All right. And in a minute here, it's going to show me my 12 seed words. This is the most important thing in cryptocurrency, guys, is you need to get at least one good notebook where you're going to put your seed words in. Okay. You are not going to take a picture of this. You're not going to screenshot it. You're not going to send it to your email. You're not going to save it on your computer. You're not going to print it off. You're going to write it on a piece of paper in a notebook and then put it in a safe, secure place. Ideally, you want to create two copies, keep one in a safe place for you, and then give it to someone that you trust, your parents, your brother, sister, best friend, in case you lose yours. Okay, please, please, please do this. Because I have so many people message me being like, oh, Mike, I forgot to do this. I forgot to do that. There's nothing you can do. No one has these. Cosmos doesn't. Chrome, Google doesn't. Adam doesn't have it. Okay. And if anyone tries to contact you anywhere online and they say, hey, what's your seed words? Run. Don't answer them. Run away as fast as you can. Okay. So I'm going to show my seed words, write them down, and then we'll be right back. All right, once you write down your seed word, they're going to have you verify that you have the right words. They usually have you put in two or three. Then we'll name our wallet and we'll come up with a password. Passwords don't matter that much in crypto. What matters is these 12 seed words. Okay, so just use a password that you'll remember. It doesn't need to be super long or crazy and put that password in your notebook as well. Okay, the next step is we're going to select chains that we want to see. Now, if you want to select them all, you can, but you probably don't need to, especially if you're starting out. But let's click on a couple ones that you might want to use down the road or that I like. You definitely want to do Celestia. That's the main reason I'm making this video is because you want to stake some Celestia because of all the airdrops that are coming out because almost every new blockchain is using Celestia. I would add this one. Well, no, never mind. You definitely want to add Injective. I would add Juno, Neutron, Noble, Osmosis, Secret. And that's probably good for now. And if you want to just do Select All, you can. We'll hit Save. Okay, we have pinned Kepler. So let's look at our wallet and see what's going on here. All right. So the first thing you need to do is get on an exchange to buy some Atom. Okay. I, I'll put the links down below or I'll put them on the, um, the uh, Google Doc. So here are the cryptocurrency exchanges. We can't use Binance in America. I do not like Coinbase. I, it's kind of easier for new people. So if you want to use it, that's fine. Just don't ask me any questions about it because I don't like them. Um, but I believe they do have Atom. Kraken is pretty solid. And um, Crypto.com. And get on multiple exchanges, guys. You can also buy Bitcoin in Cash App. To me, Crypto.com and Kraken would be the way to go if you're in America. Um, I'm also going to show you guys another way if you have crypto already in and how to get it to Adam very easily. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to click copy address. Okay. And then when it does that, it's going to give you a different wallet address for each chain. And I like how they have the name of the chain right before it. Right. So this is your Celestia. This is your Injective. This is your Cosmos. 
So in this wallet, most of the time you're going to deal with Cosmos, especially as a beginner. So I'm going to click these two little buttons here. Okay. And now also if you're on your phone, like I will be for crypto.com, you can click here and it will show a QR code. So when you go to send your Atom, you're going to just, um, instead of pasting the address, there's a, usually something just to the right. You click on that and your camera will open. Put that camera on there and then the address will populate itself. This Cosmos 1K7 address will. Okay, so now that I've had that copied, I'm gonna go to my app or my exchange and send um, Adam Cosmos from my exchange to my wallet. Okay, now I'm gonna actually show you guys another way to do this if you already have crypto in. Okay, this is one of my favorite sites. It's called changenow.io. It allows you to go from one cryptocurrency to another without having to use a centralized exchange. All right, and it supports most tokens. So let's say you just can get Bitcoin on Cash App. You can send your Bitcoin here and they'll give you Adam. So let's see how it works. So first of all, I'm going to be sending USDT on the Binance Smart Chain, okay? And you'll notice tokens now can be on almost any blockchain and you need to make sure you're sending it on the right blockchain. So USDT on Binance Smart Chain, USDT is on almost every blockchain there is, you can see here, right? So make sure you're sending it to the right one. If you do send it to the wrong one, most of the time you can still get it. So USDT on Binance Smart Chain is what I want. Not doing 5,000 a day, just 150. And I want Adam. Not on the Binance Smart Chain, I want it on the Cosmos Chain. So 150 USDT will get me 13.8 Atom. So I'm going to hit exchange. Enter the Atom payout address. So I'm going to go to my wallet. I'm going to copy address, get my Cosmos address by clicking these two squares here. Then I will come here and paste. Okay, and if you want to double check it, you can, if you're new. 1K7 ends in V97, okay? So check the first three and the last three. There is no memo for Cosmos. Really, the only one I know that uses a memo a lot is XRP. All right, so I'm going to send 150 USDT on the Binance Smart Chain to this address, okay? So we're going to copy that. I have this in my other wallet. I highly recommend you guys get this wallet as well. It's called Rabby. And I have a video on my YouTube on how to set this up similar to this step by step. So in Rabby, you just click anywhere on the blue. And then you scroll down to what you want to send. In my case, it's this USDT. I'm going to click send. I'm going to paste that address. Again, I can check it. You can see the C65 right there too. Okay, I'm gonna do, I can actually do max and they'll make up the difference there. All right, I'm gonna put in my password. We'll confirm that and hit send. So when you do something in a wallet, um, you will have to sign a transaction, they call it. So this just tells me I'm sending 150, 27 USDT to this address. It's going to cost me five cents. I'll sign and create that and confirm it. Okay. Now, when you use this, you can come down here. You don't have to keep this open. You, if it happens to close, it's not a big deal. I've been using this website for two, three years. Never, I've had one issue one time, emailed support. They took care of it. It'll usually take five to 10 minutes. It depends on the blockchain. If you're using Bitcoin or Ethereum, it will take quite a bit longer, maybe even up to an hour. But most of these blockchains that are pretty fast, five, 10 minutes. So we'll pick it up right when I get my Atom. Change now came through again, only took two minutes. So now we should be able to look in our Kepler wallet. And we have $147 there available to spend 13.8 Atom. Now, 
the main site we are going to work on is called osmosis okay it's kind of what's called a dex or a decentralized exchange the most popular one is uniswap that's on ethereum most chains or blockchains have their own major decentralized finance in the cosmos ecosystem that is osmos if you look at the map of zones and you click on where is that let's go to the you click on osmos you see how all the chains are connected to osmos whereas if i go to celestia there's only a couple that's because celestia is only about two months old but there's tons of blockchains coming onto it so pretty soon it will look like osmosis not as much but close that's why we want to stake some tia today will be part of our journey all right so we are going to go to osmosis oh, i guess i already opened it okay um we're going to connect our wallet and we're going to pick kepler and we're going to approve that to connect it All right, now let's go to our assets. And you will see that there is nothing here, right? And what we have to do is we're gonna move our tokens from our Kepler wallet to Osmosis, okay? We still control them. Now, one thing that's kind of tricky here is there is no Osmosis here. And I don't know why they don't have a deposit or withdraw button. So before we bring our Atom on, we're going to actually trade inside the app, okay? So we're gonna come here to where these two arrows are at the bottom, and we have Atom on Cosmos Hub, okay, which is our wallet, and we want Osmo on Osmosis. So let's just do one Atom. That will give us 5.62 Osmosis. We'll hit Next. And then we will approve it. Transaction was a success. And Adam, Cosmos is very quick, but sometimes like the website won't refresh itself. So if something doesn't show up right away, don't freak out. Just wait 15, 20 seconds, refresh the page if it doesn't show up. Now, do you see how this says on osmosis? Okay, so now if we refresh this, I'm thinking we should see it right here. There we go, okay? Now we can do transfers and trades on osmosis. A lot of people don't do this at first and then they get onto osmosis and can't make trades because you need what is called gas, okay? Gas is usually the native or main chain and it's a transaction fee that you pay. So when I was in the Kepler wallet, if you notice when I went to trade, it says the transaction fee is, you know, that much Atom, which is three cents. So that's why you come in with Atom so that you can use it as your gas and then get some osmosis. So now we have osmosis for our gas when we're on osmosis. So now let's deposit some Atom in here. We're going to approve that to use the Cosmos Hub. So we're going from Cosmos to Osmosis, okay? Now, you never want to send all of a cryptocurrency that is used for gas. So in this case, I could bring on 12 Atom, okay? And I'm going to keep 0.8 in that wallet to use for gas. So I'm going to deposit 12 Atom to Osmosis. And then this uh, uh, transaction confirmation will come up in my wallet. I'll hit approve. There's tons of validators, which you could just pretend they're computers, okay, all around the world that are keeping track of all this data, okay? And we actually get paid to help 
them. Okay, so now that we have our atom here and we have our osmosis, let's do our first trade. So we're going to come up to swap. And we're going to go from atom. We're going to click right here where this arrow is. And now we can search for other tokens that we want. So the first token we want is called Celestia, or some people call it Tia because of the TIA at the end. So let's get some of that. And you could put what you want in either one. Or do they make you put it in the top one? Okay. So let's do, um, what would three atom get us? Okay, cool. So let's do like three, let's get at least two Tia. Let's get three point, let's see if that changes. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna trade 3.1 atom for two Tia. So we're gonna hit swap. We're gonna hit approve. Okay, so that transaction is being included in this whole network of supercomputers that are keeping track of what wallet owns what asset or cryptocurrency. Okay, so now if we come back to assets, we will see that we have two TIA. Let's do one more swap just to show you guys again. This is one of my top tokens for 2024. It's called Corium. And I'm going to show you guys how to stake this later. Okay. And even if you just have one Corium, you're going to get an airdrop that's coming up. I think it was the 27th or something, but you got to act quick. Okay. So let's get some Corium. Let's get two or two Atom will give us 103 Corium. We'll approve that. All right, transaction successful. So now we can go to our assets and you can see we now have four assets. We have Osmo, Atom, Tia, and Corium. And if you guys notice, um, we're gonna try to stake, these are the minimums I would recommend Again, I just started with 150 bucks. I don't care if you got 20 bucks. You can still do this. Just do it, okay? The education and the experience is where the value's at, not necessarily how much you have. It is possible to get airdrops by just staking one token, especially Celestia. So if you can make, make this happen, this is what most people recommend, which kind of gets you in the upper threshold to get more um, airdrops. It's 10 Atom, 100 Osmosis, and $150 worth of Celestia. So let's go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> We're gonna go to stake. Actually, no, we wanna do this. We wanna go to our Kepler wallet. We wanna go to our Kepler wallet and go to staked and then stake with Kepler dashboard. So basically this is taking our wallet and just making it so it's full screen. Okay, recommended chains. Your stakeable assets on these chains have the highest fiat values. Okay, we're gonna do it on both of these. Um, let's do Celestia first, since that's what I think people want. So we're just gonna put, start typing C-E-L there and we'll get hit Celestia. Oh, that's all right. Now, notice it says we have no available tokens to start staking. That's because they are still on Osmos, Osmosis, okay? So, I guess we got disconnected. Okay, our um, tokens are on Osmosis. So we're gonna go to TIA and we're gonna hit withdraw. We're gonna approve that. So we're going from osmosis to Celestia. 
and it's okay to do the max here because we're working on osmosis, not Tia. And we'll approve that. Okay, transaction is successful, so we have no more Tia here, but it is in our wallet now. Give it a minute to show up. Yeah, it'll show up in a minute. So we're going to go to um, staked and then stake with Kepler dashboard. Now it's popping up because it sees that we have some. So let's click on Celestia. We're going to now do now what's called stake our tokens with a validator. Okay, these are still our tokens. This is relatively secure. This is decentralized finance. Sometimes things can go wrong, but this is about as safe as you can get in decentralized finance. So basically you pay them a little commission and they do all the techie nerdy stuff so you don't have to. You can just click a few buttons because we're going to actually be earning an APR of 16.11%. So we're going to be getting paid or make money by staking or locking up our tokens like we would in a bank. I don't know of any bank that's paying you 16%. They usually pay you like 0.25. This is why I love decentralized finance. Now, when you're picking a validator, you want to pick one that is outside the top 10 or 20 top validators. You never want to do a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance. And you obviously don't want to do something with a high commission. I'm assuming those places must be doing airdrops because I don't know why anybody would stake with them when they're charging that much. So let's scroll down. Cosmo Station is a good one. Um, Kepler wouldn't be bad to stake with. It looks like they're out of the top 10. Um, stake Cedo is a really great YouTuber. So a lot of times I'll stake with him because he gives me tons of knowledge and I appreciate what he does. So let's go ahead and do Stake Cedo. Um, so let's click on Stake Cedo and we're going to hit Stake. And I'm not going to stake at all because I want to keep just a little left just in case I need it um, for gas later. So let's do two Tia. And th this unbonding period means if you want to get your tokens back, you're going to have to unstake them and you have to wait 21 days to get them back. Okay, it's kind of like a time release. And they basically do this to help secure the network. So if something did happen, a bunch of people don't sell at once. So you're basically investing kind of long term, I mean 21 days, but just understand those funds will be locked up for 21 days until you come back and click unlock. Now I've been staking Adam for like three years and haven't moved them. I just let them sit there. All right, so let's click stake. So you see how we need a little TIA for that transaction fee? That's why I didn't stake the whole thing. So let's hit approve. All right, so this is a really cool view too of your Kepler wallet. So you can see your total value, the available, and your staked value and what chains that you are on. All right, let's do one more. Let's go to staking right here. Oh, one other thing too is over here, you see we just have these two chains. So if I want to add more chains, um, like this, we can add Celestia. So I'm gonna star that. Um, Anyways, so we have that one there. Let's do one more. Let's take some Atom. Let's go to Cosmos Hub. And now you can see my Atom is not um, in my wallet. So actually, let's do Osmosis first. So let's stake. And go to... So stake Cito's in the top 10 here or close to it. 
Um, but actually, th there is a Prism airdrop um, coming soon. So I'm going to go ahead and stake with them. Um, I think I have a video on this either out or it will be soon. Even though they're one of the top 10 validators, I don't care because I think there's an airdrop coming there. And sometimes I'll stake just because I know there's an airdrop coming if you stake with a protocol. So this has a 14 day unbonding period and we're getting paid 9.07%. Um, so let's go ahead and stake with Prism. And again, notice I didn't do all of my osmosis. I left at least one in there for gas fees. Okay, we're staking that. Let's stake some Cosmos. So we're going to come to stake right here. So you can see the commissions vary a lot more on this one. Like this one's only one. That's crazy. I don't know why anyone would do that. Let's do the, uh, I'm going to do Prism again because I know they're, I think they're going to have an airdrop. They are charging a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, I don't have much Atom in my wallet. Okay, so let's say you run into this. You're like, I thought I had more Atom than that. You're going to come back to the assets on Osmosis. My Atom is on Osmosis, not on Cosmos Hub. So I'm going to withdraw from Osmosis to Cosmos. So let's, let's do uh, three. So let's withdraw our Atom. Because remember, when we're staking, it's going straight from our Kepler wallet, not Osmosis. So now if we come back to Kepler, we'll go ahead and refresh the page. And let's go to staking. Those are there. Let's go to stake. And we're doing Cosmos Hub. And we're going to come down to Prism and hit stake. And obviously, I, I don't want to do all of my Atom. And it even tells you that. So let's just do three. We'll stake that, approve it. Okay, and another thing, you know, maybe come in every few weeks, once a month, and look at what are called active proposals. So these are where you can vote, and sometimes voting makes you qualified for airdrops. Um, and it's just kind of cool to see what's going on. All right, so here's a validator incentive. It's obviously going to pass, okay? So I can vote on it. Just hit yes, confirm, approve it. Cost me two cents. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Sometimes there's certain votes, like we'll hear about, that you want to vote yes on or you want to vote on just to qualify for an airdrop. Okay, but you can just see, guys, this is the future. We have just decentralized the power of money and community to the people versus a bunch of bureaucrats or banksters making all the decisions for us. So that's why I love blockchain. Okay, so if you've gotten this far, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a round of applause, all right? Now we're gonna go for some extra credit, okay? You're, you're gonna be able to get that free airdrop from Corium if you're seeing this by, it's happening soon. I think it's sometime, we're in January 20 something. I can't, I can't remember, okay? So let's go back to Osmosis and we have our Corium here, all right? 
Now, to do this and make it really simple, we're gonna actually get the other wallet that we talked about. So let's do that. So we're gonna get the Leap wallet because it's we're gonna stake Corium, which is a very rare coin. So let's go to Leap wallet. Okay, let's get Leap. We're gonna get it for Chrome. We're going to click add to brave, add extension. And let's pin it. So we click the puzzle piece, come down to leap, make that blue. Now we have our little froggy here, grab them, uh, put them next to Kepler. All right. Now, we're going to import our Kepler wallet. So it's going to be the same um, tokens, the same wallet. It's just we're ax or same address. It's just we're going to access it through two different wallets. It's not that confusing, trust me. Okay, so I'm just going to click import an existing wallet because it's Kepler. If you wanted to use a different wallet, you would click this. Okay, so now those same 12 words you wrote down for Kepler, you're going to type into here. So I'll do that. You guys do it and we'll be right back. Okay, so we inputted that. Um, this is probably the only one that really matters, but I'm just going to add all of these. And then we'll hit proceed. And now we're going to enter a password. I would just recommend using the same one as you did for Kepler to not get confused. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Okay, we're gonna hit proceed. And one thing about airdrops, guys, is be very, very careful of when you go to qualify for an airdrop because usually you have to sign something in your wallet and if it's a bad actor or a scam website, they can take all of your cryptocurrency because basically you're approving for them to take all your funds. So only go to, from trusted sources. If you just see something sent to your wallet and you didn't do anything, I wouldn't click on it until you can confirm it with a trusted source. So let's launch the extension. So this is what it looks like here. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, what was in my other wallet is in this wallet. And you can see, we can click here to see if we're eligible for airdrops. And this is a trusted source. Um, so you're gonna go to this cosmos.leapwallet.io. And again, this is kind of the same way in Kepler where you can just see your whole wallet on a wide big screen, not in just the little extension. Now there's something a little, oh, there it goes. So once you guys have been in this ecosystem and staked and work and done stuff with it, you might qualify for an airdrop. So this is why Leap's really good because you can come here and actually see if you qualify for an airdrop. So obviously if you're new, you're not going to qualify. Okay. But like I qualified for this dimension airdrop, um, I did qualify for this one, but I wasn't, I couldn't get it because I was using a VPN or because a lot of, sometimes they don't let people in America do it. <clears throat> so, you know, you would just go here and hit claim. And then you would check to see if you qualify for this airdrop. If you have used any of these, you could paste your um, address in and see if you qualify. But if you're new, you're not going to qualify. But that's what Leap is good for, and Leap is good for this, is we're going to stake. So this is where you switch chains. So I'm going to go to COR. So we need to add, or here we're going to add Corium. So now we are on Corium. 
doesn't look like we have any corium there. That's because it is still on osmosis. Okay, so we're going to come back to osmosis and we're going to withdraw our corium. We're going to approve it because we haven't used corium chain yet. And we're going to go from osmosis to corium. We're just going to do max because we don't need to have any uh, extra corium in here. And withdraw corium. All right, now we can go back to our Leap Wallet and give it just a minute and this will pop up. And just so you guys know, this airdrop is from Pulsera. Um, this is part of the XRP ecosystem. So is Corium, even though it's on Cosmos. Um, and if you can come down here, you'll see you have until January 19th, okay? There will be three more airdrops if you're watching this later. But if you go to the guidelines, um, basically, if you stake any corium, you're good. You'll get something. If you stake more than 10,000 um, corium, then you get a lot more. Okay. I'm not going to go into this detail. I have another whole video on that. But just so you guys know, um, if you're below 10,000 corium, there's going to be 10 million Sarah tokens split amongst those wallets. All right, so let's go back to Leap to stake this. We're on Corium. Our Corium has now arrived. We have 103 of them. We're gonna go to stake. Then we're gonna click stake again. Uh, the validators I am using, because this guy's awesome. You can use stake Cedo if you want. Um, but I like, actually, I'll just type it in. Uh, it's Zen Lounge. Um, he is the one who kind of put me onto this and taught me everything. So always looking to pay it back, pay it forward. Um, we don't want to do it all. So let's do 101 because we, we need to have um, core for our gas since we're on Corium now. We'll click review. And then we'll stake Corium. All right, we are done. We delegated our Corium there. All right, so that is it, guys. If you guys got any value from this, please like the video, leave me a comment down there, subscribe to the channel. Okay, I just do this to help people because I want to see you guys win. I think 2024 is going to be life changing for those who take the time to get educated and take action, even if you don't have a lot of money. All right. I love this space. I love the fact that we are decentralizing the power and the money for the people. All right, guys, lace up. Let's get wealthy. Peace.